What's up Captastic ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode in this PTCGO series. I am very excited for today's episode because we have a deck built around Garchom from Breakpoint and this is truly an awesome card. As always if you want to skip the deck analysis just click the annotation on the screen or skip to around the 4-5 minute mark and it will take you straight to the battles. So Garchomp over here has two attacks and both of them are actually really really good. Uh, the first one is Turbo Assault for one fighting energy does 60 and you get to attach an energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. And read carefully here it says attach an energy card which means you can get back things like strong energy onto your Pokemon. It's not just basic energies but you can get back strong energy and that is really insane. That is so, so really powerful. Now the second attack is Bite Off uh, and it is 80 plus 80 more if your opponent's Pokemon is a Pokemon EX. Slap on a Muscle Band or a Strong Energy or a Fighting Stadium and you're, you're doing 180 which knocks out nearly like all EXs without Fighting Fury Belt and stuff like that and that is insane. This Bite Off attack has got an enormous amount of hype for this Garchomp here. This Garchomp itself has got an enormous amount of hype for this attack actually. Uh, really truly an awesome card. We are going to be playing three copies of the Garchomp. Oh, I just added an extra copy. I didn't mean to do that. So we are playing three copies of the Garchomp and then we are playing four uh, copies of Gibble and one copy of the Gabite. We are only running one copy of the Gabite because we will be playing three rare candies here to evolve from our Gibble into our Garchomp. Now you could also make this a uh, uh, maxi hidden ball trick deck to get Garchomp out but I decided not to do that because you can actually very quickly evolve from the Gibble into the Garchomp using the uh, rare candy and you can get that rare candy out very easily using Corina over here which allows you to search for a fighting Pokemon and an item card so the combo of that is really really strong and in my opinion it is not necessary to turn this deck into a Maxis Hidden Ball trick if it is already so simple to get out the Garchomp. Uh, then we are also playing two Mil Tanks uh, because the Garchomp is a stage 2. The Mil Tank with powerful friends does 10 plus 70 more if we have a stage 2 Pokemon on our bench. This is going to be the partner of Garchomp uh, for things like Night March. We can put Mil Tank in the active spot, knock out in Night Marcher, and then Mil Tank will get knocked out. And so we still have our Garchomp to boot then. We will probably use the Garchomp to knock out the Shaman if we are facing Night March. We also play two Halucha EX with free retreat uh, for the Flying Press. Also an, also an awesome card and also an awesome partner for Garchomp. Uh, mind you though, this Garchomp has also got free retreat. So look at that, it's got free retreat, it can knock out EXs in one hit and it can get back strong energies from the discard pile. What more do you want in life for reals is here? Now you might be wondering why are we not playing 4 copies of the rare candy and that is because we are playing 4 puzzles of time. These 4 puzzles of time allow us to get back any two cards from our discard pile as long as we've got two in our hand. We are running four copies of this so it is actually not too difficult to get them in our hand especially not since we run Corina which allows us to search for item cards and yeah also because we run three trainers mail over here which also allows us to get some item cards in our hand. This is a very strong combination with the battle compressor over here allows us to battle compress cards in our discard pile and then get them back with the puzzle of time out of the blue without our opponent expecting it to happen at all. Now the rest of the cards here, let's go over them quickly. We run one Sacred Ash to get back the Garchomp, the Miltank and the Halucha. But then we run one Switch, I think it was three Trainers Mail, uh, four Ultra Ball, four VS Seeker, three Corina, one Lysander to, to Lysander out our Pokemon, three Birches for draw support, two Fighting Stadium to, to reach that 180 damage. So the Fighting Stadium plus Bite of does 180. Then one Scorched Earth for draw support which allows us to discard a fighting card, fighting energy from our hand and then we get to draw into two more cards. Then we run four Focus Sash, four Focus Sash because if our Garchomp here, uh, or rather our Garchomp here only has 130 hit, point, hit points, that's the only disadvantage of this card really, is that its hit points is so low, but slap on a Focus Sash and then if the Garchomp would get knocked out, it doesn't get knocked out in one hit, it remains alive with 10 hit points and we can just hit again for a Turbo Assault or a Bite Off. And we run 4 Strong Energy and 4 
uh, six fighting energy, only 10 energies because this Garchomp doesn't require too many energies in order to be able to attack. And that's basically it here for the deck analysis. Uh, analysis sorry. Uh, I have been playing around with this deck during playtesting and it was a ton, a ton of fun. I tell you, it was, it was so much fun. Uh, right now, I'm going to find ourselves an opponent and I'm going to show you how awesome this deck is. And we are going to have a ton of fun together here. Alright, let's go. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more deck ideas. Okie dokie, Pian Nissin Moki, we are facing a dark deck, darkness, and a fighting deck. Maybe it is Darkrai with Gallade, maybe Evil Tal Gallade, maybe a mixture of those, who knows. We'll find out soon enough. So we will start off with, let's see here, we'll start off with the mill tank for sure. Get a rare candy to go with the Gibble. Uh, if you are facing EXs, I would like to get an Halucha if possible. We see a Evil Tall. Okay, well, that's pretty interesting. It's going to be tough to knock out for us the Evil Tall in one shot. So it's going to be a tough, tough task. But I think we'll manage to do so. We see the darkness. Energy attached to the Evil Tall, going to go for an Oblivion Wing in turn 2. Zoar gets discarded, going to go for a Shaman, I'm, I'm guessing. Oh no, goes for an Evil Tall EX. So my opponent must have some draw support in his hand, I am assuming here. Goes for the Judge, there is the draw support, messing up our perfect hand, we had a really really good hand. Let's see what we get now, we don't get much of anything now, we get a Gibble. And that's about it. That's about as useful as it will get here. Uh, we need to rely on the top deck now and the trainer's mail. That's what we need to rely on. See a battle compressor compressing Gallade. Can my opponent pull off the maxi turn one? That's the question here. No, he cannot. He doesn't manage to do so. We get another PS Seeker. Not very useful. Might as well go for the Corina here. I think that's the best play. We'll play down the Gibble. We will go for um, another Gibble. And then we'll go for an Ultra Ball actually. An Ultra Ball so that we can get a Shaman. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four puzzles of time. And how many Pokemon do we have? One, two Garchomp in our deck, a Shaman there. So I might actually discard the Garchomp in our hand. One Shaman, that's it. Oh, two Shamans, I saw another Shaman. Here we go, let's put down the Gibble. Discard one VS Seeker and keep another one in our hand. We will go for the Shaman. And join to five more cards. That is nearly optimal, nearly optimal. Not quite, but nearly there. Shaman for five. We get one energy, we get a Trainer's Mail. Can we get something, a rare candy from this trainer's mail? We do not get a rare candy, but we do get a Corina or another Ultra Ball. I'll actually go for the Ultra Ball here. And I'll attach one energy. Then I'll discard these two and go for another Shaman. And that is the play here. Shaman's galore. We need to dig deep in our deck and get some rare candies in our hands. If we can, we can't get a rare candy. We do get a switch, which we can use next turn to switch into the Garchomp. Attach a strong energy to the Garchomp. That will probably be the play for next turn. Or maybe we could get a normal energy. Well, a fighting energy. And start doing putting some pressure on my opponent with the mill tank. That could be another another play as well but then we need to get that normal and that other energy some way here so we might have to discard this special energy maybe I should have attached this fighting energy to the mill tank I am not sure it all depends on if we can get the people to evolve into the Garchomp here we see a judge my opponent is going to go for another judge messing up our hand once more my goodness that is sad to see we do get a VS Seeker, 
as well as this energy so we will be able to pull off the car chomp this turn and put some pressure on my opponent with team mill tank excellent stuff here too bad my opponent has fighting resistance on most of his Pokemon the Zoroark is fighting weak that is good to see does my opponent have energies in a discard pile? He does have one energy, meaning that this evil tower will get powered up in one turn. Or this turn, rather. There we go. It has the two energies on it. Oh, even uh, even top deck, the Garchomp. Fantastic. Let's go for the VS Seeker. Get a Corina. And then we will... Um... Let's see here. Uh, I have to think now. I will think I will go for a Halucha. And then we need that rare candy. And now we'll need to rely on the top deck from here on outwards. Because of that judge, that judge messed us up quite badly. We'll keep the stadium in our hands. We'll also keep the Halucha or well, I'm not sure. Um, should we play down the Halucha? I don't know really. Let's keep it in our hand for now. Uh, we will go for the powerful friends hitting the baby evil tall for 80. Next turn we can knock out the baby evil tall. Mm, or if my opponent promotes the evil tall EX which will knock out this mill tank I'm pretty sure we've got one two that's 60 uh, plus the one from us no wait yeah that's 80 yeah the mill tank will get knocked out if my opponent retreats into the evil tall EX on the bench if not our mill tank will stay alive and will knock out the baby evil tall from my opponent allowing us to take a prize and hopefully we can get something good of the prizes if it does knock out the mill tank we will promote the Garchomp and attach a Focus Sash to the Garchomp and then play down the Fighting Stadium and do some uh, damage to the Evil Tall that way. So we have lots of ways to move forward from here on out. Let's see, my opponent still didn't pull off the Glade uh, or the Maxi, Maxi's Glade. Yet to see that happen, yet to see it happen. So far, I think this is going to be a very interesting match here. Because we are facing a pretty good deck, a meta deck, with our own, our very own designed deck, the Garchomp. Not really considered as meta at the moment, but who knows, it might become a meta deck at some point. You see the DCE onto the Zoroark. Is the Zoroark going to stand in? Uh, well, he does not have a float stone. But it can stand in and knock out our mill tank. No, doesn't stand in. My opponent goes for the Oblivion Wing. Attaches a Darkness Energy. Or it doesn't have one. Yeah, it does have one. Two. What is going to attach you to the Evil Tall EX on the bench? Excellent stuff here. We even get two Focus Sashes. Might as well play down the Halucha now and attach Focus Sashes to both these Pokemon. So my opponent needs a starting Megaphone now to knock out either of those two Pokemon and we will take the first knockout of the game on the Baby Evil Tall. Taking one prize here, can we get something good? Ah, we get a Battle Compressor, not very good, not very good. This top deck mode is seriously, seriously worrying, for worrying me. We need, we need something go, get to get something going here. Meanwhile, my opponent does promote the Zoroark, which is fighting weak, so we can knock it out with the Garchomp in one shot, at the same time attaching a basic energy from our discard pile to one of our Pokemon. Probably the Garchomp is probably going to be the play here. And then... All we need to do is knock out that evil tall by playing down our stadium. 
well, no, we can't actually knock it out. We need a strong energy because the evil town has fighting resistance. I just, I just thought about that. So we need a strong energy on this Garchomp. Which I do not think... Yeah, we do not have strong energy in our discard pile. But we can discard one with this Battle Compressor. Look at that. We have solved the situation here. We will actually go and do that. We will discard a strong energy with a Battle Compressor. You don't see that happen all too often. That's actually... Very cool strat, very cool strategy. We see a floatstone on the Zoroark. And a muscle band on the Evil Tile. What is going to happen here? What is going to happen? Does my opponent have a. Uh, what is it called? That item card that allows you to flip a coin and then you, if it if it is hatched, you get to license around a Pokemon on the bench, basically. It was reprinted in Breakpoint, but I've forgotten the name. Too bad that I have forgotten the name. Here comes an Ultra Ball. My opponent is down to 12 cards. Are you kidding me? He is digging for something here. Digging for something. Goes for another Evil Tall. Uh, might pull off the Ashi here. The Maxi. Do we see the Maxi? No, we don't. We see the Evil Tall come out. Does he have an escape rope or something to try and force us to get out the card jump, which we wouldn't, of course, do if my opponent has an escape rope? My opponent seems to be deciding what to do. Goes for the evil ball. Hits from 140. That's okay. We will promote the Garchomp and we will go ahead and perform our strategy as we said. And we even top deck a Corina. Oh, that is very, very good here. So let's see what we can do. We will discard a Sycamore. Then we will discard a strong energy and we will discard a Lysander that's going to be the play here then we will put down the stadium we'll get a uh, another Gibble with the Corina uh, we'll get a VS Seeker as well just like that and next turn we can go for the Sycamore with the VS Seeker right now we will go for the Turbo Assault Hitting for 60 and getting that strong energy onto the Garchomp. Uh, softening up the Evil Tall for the next turn. Uh, see a Muscle Band on the other Evil Tall and a DCE. What is my opponent going to do here? Oh, he uses the Maxi. That means my opponent is going to go down to 5, five cards. Meaning he needs to knock out 5 of our Pokemon within that uh, time space before he decks out or he can still use a, ju a judge uh, to get some cards back into his deck. Oh, this is a pretty exciting match. I am loving this match here. What a nice match. We, we had to rely on top decks and we are still completely in the game. Can you believe it here? Can you believe it? You even see the premonition, maybe going to go for a Lysander so you can Lysander out the Shaman. That would be very annoying for us. Let's take a look. How many? We have one VS Seeker, two VS Seekers, three VS Seekers in my opponent discard pile. You don't see a Lysander yet. That means my opponent can ha still have it in his deck or in his hand. But this Evil Tall will go down no matter what in the next turn. Here it comes, Evil Ball for 160, discarding our Focus Sash. Uh, we will knock it out right now. We will attach this strong energy to the Halucha. Hello, Halucha. Uh, we will go for a Sycamore. That is the play. Sycamore it is for 7. We even get an Ultra Ball. And this stadium, we don't really need that stadium. We don't really need the puzzle of time right now. We still have some more in our deck. We will discard these two cards. Go for another Garchomp. The last Garchomp in our deck, actually. We still have a mill tank to play. Uh, here we go. We'll evolve, attach this Focus Sash. And just like that, we are down to a VS Seeker again. And another special energy. Here we go. Bite off. Or maybe, um, yes, we have to do the bite off to knock out the evil tall EX. 
bringing ourselves down to three prizes. Excellent. Get another strong energy. Fantastic, fantastic. I am liking this a lot. Oh. So our opponent promotes the... I should, did I discard the Lysander? I did. I will Lysander out the Evil Tall EX on, the, on my opponent's bench. This one here, without any energies. And... Put some damage on it with the Halucha. Or I'm actually li going to license around the Zoroark there. That is what I will do. I will license around the Zoroark. That seems like a pretty good play here. License for the Zoroark, preventing my opponent from standing in because this Zoroark has a. Uh, Floatstone on it. Here we go. Turbo Assault for a strong energy. Getting back a strong energy onto the Garchomp. We are now hitting for 120. We can even put another strong energy onto it in the next turn to knock out that baby evil tile. But ideally, I would like to get a Lysander once more. That is what I'm uh, hoping for. We have one, two VS Seekers, three VS Seekers. Oh, we have all four VS Seekers in the discard pile. That is too bad here. That is too bad. That means we won't be able to Lysander for the win. Ah. We need those puzzles of times now. Those puzzle of times. You see a Lysander from my opponent going for the Shaman. That is interesting. That is very interesting. This preserves the focus sash on the on the Garchomp. That is very very interesting. Can my opponent knock out the Shaman though? I don't think so. I think my opponent should have uh, put some damage onto this Garchomp really. But that's just my opinion. What we need now is that mill tank. I'm gonna put put 50 on the shaman. Can we get that mill tank in the active spots to stall for a little bit? We do get a Corina. Um, I'm going to get the. Um, Mill tank right now and going to get the switch with the Corina. Here's the mill tank. That's exactly what we need. Uh, we will start putting some pressure on my opponent with the mill tank. Might as well get the Gabite out. And once again, we are in top deck mode. It is top deck mode for days here. Oh. So here is the switch into let's see here we are doing 120 that's not enough we will have to switch into the mill tank and put some pressure on my opponent that way forcing our opponent to use another lysander if he if he so decides to So right now we still have many outs, many outs to pick up this game. Unfortunately, our VS Seekers are already in the discard pile, so we are relying on top decking a Sycamore. We only have one in our discard pile, or some some puzzles of times that would be excellent as well. If we can get one now and then next turn, or maybe just one now and then we can arrange our our top deck here. It would be fantastic. And our opponent concedes the match. He does not see a way out against Garchomp, Garchomp Halucha and Miltank. What a game here, what a game. That is amazing. Garchomp takes the win against the Metal Deck. A Metal Deck which had no problem getting going really. I mean, it had sufficiently great hands in my opinion. I think this shows that this deck has some 
definite viability uh, to play around with uh, in uh, the PTCGO. But in a Fremling, let's find ourselves another opponent and probably our last opponent. Alright, after that great match, we are facing Ritoras with a Night March deck. I am guessing a Night March deck. It's calling the coin flip. I, I think I already played against Ritoras at some point. Pardon me. My food. My food's coming back up. But you probably don't want to know that. So, Ritoras is choosing who goes first. It is my opponent's turn. We start off with a mill tank. Um, uh, well, okay. Let's see here what we can do. This mill tank is probably going to get knocked out. Oh, it's a Manectric deck. What is a Psychic for in the Manectric deck? I wonder. I wonder what a what Psychic is for. Goes for a Sycamore. I, I did think I saw a Psychic type in my opponent's deck. An Acro bike as well. Go by four. Ooh, this card's an Arctic. Who no. Goes for the Red Eyes. This Red Eyes will be no, no use for my opponent. We top deck the Gibble. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. Might as well. Um, let's see here. Uh, do we want to attach to the Gibble? I think we will, because next turn we can evolve and knock out that Manectric in one hit. I think we will do that. We will attach a mm, Fighting Energy to the Gibble, as well as this this here, Focus Sash. Then we will go for uh, Garchomp. We only have one Garchomp in our deck. Are you kidding me? That's insane. And that seems great to me. And then we will go for... Do we have the switch in our deck? We do have the switch. I am actually going to risk it. Risk the top deck and go for the switch here. And end our turn. I want to get that quick knockout as soon as we can. Next turn, we... Should be able to knock out the Manectric and then we can uh, get two prizes. These prizes will hopefully help us prevent uh, us from top decking any further. That's the risk I'm taking. That's the risk I'm willing to take to close out this game as soon as we can. See another Acrobike discarding a Lightning Energy. Does my opponent have the Mega Manectric? Goes for a Sycamore. Doesn't have the Mega Manectric right now. This is going to dig for the Mega Manectric, that's okay. We still still have the possibility to knock out the Mega Manectric because of the fighting weakness. It doesn't matter whether it's the regular Manectric or the Mega Manectric. We are hitting for 160 times 2 is 220. 320. It does not seem like my opponent gets the Mega Manectric. The only downside to, for, to my opponent getting the Mega is that he can power up this Red Eyes with energies from his discard pile. Meaning that the Red Eyes will become a, a threat to us pretty quickly. But we can then retreat into the Mill Tank and chip away at the Red Eyes with the Mill Tank. So another, another Trainer's Mill with a switch. Is my opponent going to switch into the Red Eyes? That could be a play. Just get the Mega Manectric going. Our mill tank will get knocked out. So there was no point getting that switch really. Because our mill tank will, do will go down. We see a Hoopa. My goodness, this is a very long turn for my opponent. Very, very long. Plays down the Hoopa, goes for another Manectric, a Shaman, and maybe another Mega Manectric. That's what I'm thinking. This Hoopa is also a very easy target for our Garchomp. Oh, it goes for two basic Manectrics. Mm -hmm. With a Spirit Link attachment probably at some point. There we go. Spirit Link attached. Shaman for five. Our opponent is down to 15 cards. We still have 44 cards to go. That is uh, 
a very big difference. <laughs> oh wow, turbo bolt onto the mill tank, knocking it out. Our opponent thinks he has got us, he has got a game here because we look very sad with only our gibble. But uh, that is not true. We are ready to take the game in our hands here. Look at that, we even top like a shaman. And he attached to the Manectric on the bench, which is very risky for my opponent. Let's just evolve into the Garchomp. Attach a strong energy, put down the Shaman, get another Gibble going if we can. Uh, let's see, we have another Gibble. Fantastic. I will keep this stadium, this fighting stadium, in my hand for now. And. We will go for, let's see, can we 60 and 80, that's one six. no, so we have to go for the bite off, we will go for the bite off. Putting a lot of pressure on my opponent here with 360 damage, 360, I think I said 320 before, so I made a mistake there. We do, we do get the Garchomp from the prizes, um, but we don't have a rare candy to evolve the Garchomp, if only we have a spirit link. Uh, no, <laughs> a VS Seeker. What am I talking about here? What am I talking about? Opponent goes for an Ultra Ball. Plans on attacking with the Mega Manectric here. Goes for another Mega Manectric. But this Mega Manectric will go down as well. So... Turbo Bolt for 110. Attaches two energies to which Pokemon is it going to be? Which is it going to be? Oh, there we go. My opponent has gotten smarter. Attaches to the Regice right now. Ah, we didn't top deck the... We didn't top deck... The Rare Candy here. That's unfortunate. Might as well attach this... Strong energy to the Gibble. And then we will have to go for the Sycamore. Sycamore in a way that Garchomp... Hopefully we can get some puzzle of times to get it back, but we do not get a puzzle of time. We do get a focus sash, as well as another ultra ball and a battle compressor. Let's see. I actually might want to keep that Lysander in my hand. I'm going to discard these two energies here and go for another shaman. I think that's a pretty good play. Then we'll use the battle compressor. Free up a spot in our hands. We will battle compress. Uh, a Corina. And... A Gibble. We don't need a third Gibble. What else do we not need? I think that seems pretty good. Maybe another Karina. How many, how many VS Seekers do we have? We have one, two, three, four. Oh yes, let's let's discard another Karina. And then we will go for the Shaman. Drawing into four more cards. And we get a puzzle of time, but we don't get another puzzle of time. But we can get the other puzzle of time with the Corina we just discarded. This is excellent. I will play down the Halucha. Uh, play down this Focus Sash. And I will knock out the Mega Manectric here. Wow. 400 damage. 400. Are you kidding me? That's the scene. Yeah, we get a puzzle of time. We, wow. So next turn we can Lysander, Lysander for the game here. That is what we can do. We will take down another meta deck with our Garchomp deck here. Opponent does counter, but that's okay. Knocks out our Garchomp, and that's okay as well, because we we are taking the game here. And that is why puzzle of that puzzle of time is so powerful. It is so, so powerful. You cannot imagine it. Let's go here. Puzzle of time. Yes. Wow. This is just fabulous. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Puzzle of time for the win. 
What a great, great game here. This is perfect. The perfect game, you might call it, with Gachamp. Here we go, taking the game. 400 damage. My gosh, that was insane. Insane. I can't believe I've got my hands on my head. I don't know what to do with myself. That is... Oh, wow. 1160 damage against Mega Manectric EX Garchomp MVP. Wow, I'm just lost for words. This is... <laughs> what a fantastic game. What a fantastic game. Well, this was a very nice game to close off with. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more 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 for, <laughs> for more deck ideas like this. Uh, I hope you have a cartastic day and I will see you next time. Carp, 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 car